Dr. Galani, I've been so happy to come see you again, but I, I really wanted to get refreshed on, you know, when I first met you, my good friends, my golf buddies, were ophthalmologists in Ocala, and they're very good, well-known, big clinic and, and top knowledge people. They didn't want to touch me. How come you did? So, Doc, you yourself are an amazing surgeon. You understand the differences. Um, I'm sure they're excellent surgeons. In fact, they are. The doctors are. They do. Uh, they do the surgery I had back in the day, but now yes. it's you know RK is not done anymore. Correct. And for you, you had not only RK, you had multiple RK over oh, 21 cuts, many, cuts twice. Many. Plus, you had dense central scar which was blinding you, and you had a cataract that was happening behind that. So they sent you over just maybe because I have much more experience in treating RK problems from all over. But uh, I truly believe it's not magic. It can be done by any surgeon. It's just that it needs a lot of thought process. And a lot of want to. Yes, I love your words, want to. And also, can you remember, Doc, when you first came to me, I had mentioned to you of why I was going to even start the process of believing that you can see. Remember? Yeah, because of, that's where I, you, you told me that I had a camera and the lens was fractured, but that I was seeing through it. Yes. So that gave you hope that you could fix it. Correct. Because once your retina is normal, which is the film of the camera, then I can do all these things with the optics from the viewfinder to the lens and fix anything or combine or stage it because all the brain wants is to be in focus. It doesn't matter how it's done. And of course, I want it to be done elegantly with least trauma and with the correct direction into the future knowing that your cataract is our final endpoint that we have to get to. And we talked about that the first time we came, you said there will be steps to try. Yes. Each step might work. We're hoping for each one, but they're, yes. in, the, they're in line for an end point. Yes. And I appreciate that. Being a, being a dentist, we do the same thing. You're not going to get everything done overnight. Some people want everything done overnight. I, and, I, and I really appreciated you explaining that to me. Sure, and again, uh, Doc, another important thing is because your case is considered impossible and nightmare or whatever because of the level of your severity of things happening, it is very important to see through the destination. Because what I teach surgeons all the time is you cannot get into a car, step on the gas and see where you land. You have to have a GPS and a planning of your destination. My destination was where you are today, which is can I do your cataract through this cornea, which is all shattered and scarred, and do it intelligently to bring you to vision, that too without glasses. That was my end zone for you. That being the end zone, I had huge, humongous difficulties, which was, how dare I imagine that when your cornea is completely scarred, you're not even just, I've done up to 32 card RK corrections, a patient from Japan. You are extreme because your cuts for full thickness into yeah, the chamber. Yeah, the depth, yep. Yeah. You had scars in the center, could not be measured by any machine. And then what I say is I used my compass because there was no GPS. I used a compass to at least know that I'm going north. <laughs> I don't know where the exit is or where the apartment is, but I know I'm going north. So that's what we did with you. So every day I have patients who call me from everywhere, surgeons who call me about RK correction, radial keratotomy correction. And I keep telling them it's not about how many cuts you have, 4, 8, 16, 12, 32, whatever. It's about how they were done because these were hand done. So they were not like a computer or a laser doing it so it's consistent. Each eye of yours is different because the surgeon did it by hand. So, and the depth, I mean that's the other thing is the depths were what really made it and frustrating. And the straightness of the incision are crooked, a lot of right, things. Right, right. So it's not the number of cuts but I truly believe that all RK patients can see. Because no matter how good or bad the job the surgeon did for you when they did RK, they did it with a clean heart, hoping for you to see through it. I and mean, I did for a period of time, but then exactly. that went away. I, have, I hold no ill will to him. Absolutely. I did that fully open-minded and did what I could do. Correct. So that's very important because by the same token, if you could see through that shattered RK cornea, it means you can see through that today. Things that have changed is that that cornea, like an earthquake, is becoming flatter. In your case, very severe scarring very irregular astigmatism, you were 15.9 diopters, and then your cataract behind it, which no one will attempt because you can't see through. So what we did for you was, a, as you know, I teach the five steps to eye surgeons, technician, surgery, artist, architect, maverick, then? The Gulati level. <laughs> okay. Then the final level is the goal level, yes, agreed. So with you, that's what we did. We went step one, we did a hand lamellar surgery in your very thin, 280 micron cornea which was cut everywhere gently did a lamellar surgery separated the layer and put a donor layer 
without entering your eye, without doing a full transplant. Kept you free to play your golf and have fun. And then came back, measured, remeasured for stability to do your cat track intelligently. And then like I teach doctors, the arrogance of vision, meaning we didn't even do basic cat track. We went in and did a premium toric lens cat track surgery, meaning with the high premium lens and did not take a stitch through this cornea. And here you are today. Okay. So it's a pleasure. And again, I don't think it was a, I, it felt like to me very little time on the table. No, no anesthesia, yes. strictly just yes. numbing drops. And you talked to me through keeping my head still, because yes. you know me, you have to talk. And but, <laughs> but you kept me still and asked me questions, and it got done. And it was awesome. I didn't feel any pain. I went home, and That's sweat. And another thing, Kevin, another great thing, since you, I love the way you want to interrogate me today about these things and how we did it, uh, is the, the surgery that Kevin had. Most doctors still do cataract surgery in surgical centers and hospitals with drugs, anesthesia, sedations. He had nothing, just drops. Absolutely. And we just enjoyed the music and few great minutes. music. It was a great whole. The whole situation was awesome. I would say this: that was very comfortable, and I felt like it was in your house or in my house. You know, in a home, taking care of me. And the, and the resting areas were beautiful. They were awesome. Great music. No fear before. But of course, I've known you anyway, so I had no fear. But well, I'm lying. I had fear. Um, but, <laughs> but in the place, there's it's just very comfortable, and the setting was awesome. Plus, you treat us like family. Anyway. Like, so we know each other so long. And it's that's right nice. in our institute, so we don't go into a hospital or surgical center, Kevin. That's so many people have called it a spa-like experience for the cataract surgery. And then again, I love these. I always find time to sit down when you have questions to educate other patients and other doctors who keep calling me. Is you give me more time than any physician I've ever seen in my life. I, you come and sit and chat and talk and it's about vision and then you get all excited telling me about it which excites me about getting it done. It's pretty fabulous and, and I have brought my family and friends here with me so they watch it and they just leave shaking their heads so that's pretty cool. <laughs> yes and again this is great I hope this helps people off really get a taught me who have been told there is no hope or nothing can be done there is no such thing you can be fixed. Kevin, according to me, even in my experience of over three decades of fixing all kinds of radial keratotomy complications from all over the world, every culture, I think Kevin was one of the most difficult. But again, staging it and doing it in this artist-architect concept and still aiming for vision without glasses, without stitches, and reaching the end point and then seeing you smile, Kevin, and get back to your excellent surgeon life and golf life, that's my payback. Yep, I appreciate it too. Thank you very much again. From the bottom of my heart. And honor coming again. Thank you. Absolutely. Yes, sir.